Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, I'm gonna make a care video for the Kenyan sand boas, which are these guys right here. The one right here is the female. Bigger. She's in a shed right now. So she's not that colorful. The other one, whoops. The other one here is the male. It's a lot smaller than her. But I'm gonna put these guys back in there and tell you a little bit about their care. It's pretty cool when you put them in, bury right back in the ground. Yep, there they go. Um, but yeah, these snakes don't like to be out at all, pretty much. Um, care of these guys is actually really easy. Um, I have mine in a 20 gallon long. Enclosure. Hold on a second. Sorry, I used some hand sanitizer. But, um, the, I have a 20 gallon long right now. Um, I have for the bedding, it's uh, ground up walnut shells. Like it better than sand just because it's bigger. So we can't get in their pores or anything. Um, these guys are really fairly simple since they bury. Since they're mainly under the ground all the time. Really don't need that much cage furniture. I just got that little cat skull in there because I thought it looked cool. Um, need a water dish but it has to be really small. Because any high amount of humidity will adversely affect them. Um... A lot of times they'll sit like that one was doing with just head poking out under the sand. But um, the other thing you want to have besides a water dish is like a cork uh, or like any other type of hide. I use this cork bark and I have it under the uh, warm end and usually whenever they eat a mouse or something they'll hide under the cork bark to get warmth. They usually hide under there all the time. but. Um, as I said, humidity, you really want super low. Super low. Um, temp for these guys, I would say, um, you want it like 90, 95 on the warm end. And then on the cool end, you want it like 80. And then at night, it can drop down to like 70. It's fine. Um, you want about 3 to 4 inches of substrate. Um, these guys are easy to feed. They just eat... Right now, mine just eat a pinky mouse every week. Uh, as they get bigger, of course, upgrade the food size. The like biggest food a Kenyan sambo will eat will be an adult mouse, but that's pretty. Your snake would have to be pretty big to eat that. These are really small snakes. Uh, one of the world's smallest boas. They get two to three feet. Females are bigger than males, so the females usually get about two feet. Males rarely exceed two feet, but they can. So these are really small guys, which makes them pretty good for like a beginner pet because they're small, pretty easy to take care of. Um, the other cool thing about these guys is uh, they give birth to live young. So if you do get a pair, you don't have to worry about incubating the eggs or anything. You'll just wind up with babies eventually. So waiting for mine to get fully grown see if anything happens with that but um yep care for these guys is pretty simple pretty basic just have some dirt for them because they like to bury under it or not dirt uh sand or walnut shells for them to bury under because they like to stand there all day hide in a water dish and food every week that's pretty much it they're pretty good snakes i like them a lot but yep let me know if you guys have any questions